There are many brands of cowboy boots on the market today, and while I don't get the chance to try all of them every year, I have tried several in 2022. So today, I will rank the top 10 cowboy boots I tried in 2022 that are still available for purchase at the time of this video. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Please be a hero and like, comment, and subscribe. This video will be a roundup of boots in several different budgets ranging from around $100 to over $1,000. I will compare boots with similar budgets and similar features in future videos. This video, however, is just a way to close out 2022 and maybe expose you to lesser known brands and where I feel they rank next to the brands which are more familiar. Each boot has its own review video if you want to learn more about a specific style and I have them all linked up in the description. So with that, let's get into it. Coming in at number 10 is the Justin Stampede. The Justin Stampede line of boots contains many budget-made boots mostly made in China. The round toe option I tried in 2022 is no longer available, but they do have other styles in the line today. It's a cheap modern-made boot, very much like an Ariat boot, and in fact, this model is almost exactly the same as the Ariat Heritage Arto model. This style of boot cannot be resold or repaired, so the life you will get out of this boot may be significantly less than what you could get out of a traditionally made boot. Historically, Justin boots have been made repair friendly, but they've strayed away from that position in recent years. So if you're looking for those old timey Justins your father used to have, these are definitely not them. If you need a beater boot, these might work fine for you, but if you're looking for a good quality boot that will last a long time, you might want to look elsewhere in this list. Coming in at number 9 is the Twisted X Tech X Rough Out. The Twisted X Tech X line of boots is also made in China, but unlike Justin Stampede boots, they focus on using eco-friendly methods and materials to build their footwear. This experimental style can be hit and miss, as you might expect, and I found this Tech X Rough Out to be more on the miss side of things. The rubber outsole with integrated rice husks was more difficult to break in than other rubber outsoles that I've tried, and I had issues with the stitching on the inside. That may have been a factory defect, and Twisted X did replace the boots after I had that issue, but I still felt like I had a better experience with other Twisted X boots overall. At number 8, we have the Wolverine Boulevard Ropers. Wolverine released their Boulevard line of boots complete with a pull-on option roper style boot, and I expected more from a brand of their notoriety. The heel counter contains a thin plastic, which is sure to crack at some point, making the entire boot useless. The insole is a memory foam, which feels nice when you first put on the boot, but it compresses quickly and fails to support you over long periods of time. The leather quality was nice, but the inside construction of this boot, along with the subpar removable insole, made this a disappointing boot that has lots more potential. Coming in at number 7 is the Tecovas Press Kit. This is the second year in a row I tried a boot from the Tacova's Ranch Wear line, and it's the second year in a row where I was disappointed in them. This boot uses a great quality leather, but the fit is awful and the boot is unnecessarily heavy. And I'm not the only one who's had these issues either. Many of my viewers and working cowboys that I've spoken to have expressed the poor fit with their press kits after trying many different sizes. Tacova's markets this boot as a quote, horseman boot, which is 100% a marketing term. This actually qualifies as a tall top or a buckaroo style boot, and on average, they are not as heavy or as ill-fitting as the Tacova's press kit. In fact, this boot is heavier than some steel toe work boots I have. Out of all the boots that I tested this year, this one I actually liked the least, and I often think of this boot as a waste of good leather. The only reason it ranks as high as it does is because it's repairable. I'm sure this will make some of you Tacova's fans upset, but I'm sticking to my guns. I have no problem with Tacova's in general, but they should stick to the style of boots they make, like the Earl and the Cartwright. Coming in at number 6 is the Twisted X Tech X Leather Twix. We're back to the Twisted X Tech X line here with their Leather Twix boot and Cell Sole Cushion Outsole. This was a surprise to me being a modern made boot using recycled leather. It's actually built more like a sneaker and that's where this boot excels. It feels exactly how Twisted X markets it and there's really nothing else like it. Ariat has tried to fuse the comfort of sneakers with Western boots for years, but I feel like Twisted X has done it best with this boot so far. 
far. It feels just like a New Balance sneaker, but just looks like a boot. Plus, they use eco-friendly methods of making this boot, which I find really interesting. So if you're new to boots and you're looking for something easy to transition from sneakers to something more traditional in the cowboy boot world, this boot might be the best bridge out there. Coming in at number five are Cowtown Cobra boots. Now that we're in the top five, we can really start spreading the love, and let's start with Cowtown. Many Cowtown boots are made right here in the USA, and they're budget-friendly and repairable. So if you're looking for that US-made alternative to Tacovas in a similar budget range, look no further than Cowtown. Many times, they're actually cheaper than Tacovas too, and of a similar quality. Cowtown boots do use a bonded leather heel, and there are some issues with the top stitching fraying. Plus, the opening of the boots are very wide, so they may not work with your favorite jeans, but all in all, the quality at the price point is very respectable. Coming in at number four are Fenolio boots, the Black Victoria Rough Out. Fenolio gained a lot of traction this year, and for good reason. They are making quality working cowboy boots and dress boots right here in the USA. They are also offering lots of different widths, too. Many of the other brands discussed so far in this list only carry D and double E widths, but Fenolio can make narrow widths, too, from A to double E. So as you can imagine, the fit is incredible and they feel amazing. The Ranch Tough rubber outsole lives up to its name, and I really like the quality of leather they use as well. Even though the heel counter is leather, it's a little thinner than what I would usually like, but this boot still became one of my favorites to wear in 2022 and is priced right for the quality. Coming in at number three is Anderson Bean S1099 Ostrich Boots. Anderson Bean is another US-made brand which is very similar to Fenolio. In fact, I went back and forth on their rankings when planning this video, and while personally I like Fenolio a little bit better, Anderson Bean is a little bit more traditionally made, which makes me believe they'll last longer on average. Anderson Bean boots feature a removable insole, but you can wear their boots without the foam insole if you choose since they're made traditionally and feature a channeled welt construction, which makes these boots easier to repair than any other boot below it on this list. They do feature a bonded leather heel to save on construction costs, but all in all, Anderson Bean is taking over mid-range quality US-made boots where Tony Lama and Justin used to be decades ago, but have since slid and cut their quality, so I'm glad that Anderson Bean has stepped up to take their place. Coming in at number two is Hondo Boots, specifically the 3478. Finally, a real quote-unquote horseman boot. This Hondo is everything that the Tacova's press kit wishes it could be. The Hondo 3478 has all the features a working tall top cowboy boot should have with its high heel, the spur ledge, and the 16 inch tall tops, but it's made traditionally and can be found for cheaper than the press kit too. Like the Anderson Bean boots, this Hondo features a channeled welt construction, which makes it easier to repair than the Tacovas, and it also has an extra leather midsole, effectively making it a double leather outsole. It's traditionally made through and through, plus you can get several different widths. So it has all of the same features as the press kit, but it's just a better quality, better fit, they're taller, lighter, and at a better price. And that's why Hondo ranks much higher. Coming in at number one, the best cowboy boot I tried this year was from Way Out West. Yes, Way Out West elephant boots were the best boots that I tried in 2022 by far. These guys are a made-to-measure custom boot shop in El Paso, so it really should come as no surprise that they rank so high. These boots are as traditionally made as it gets. Whether you get a regular cowhide boot or spring for something more exotic, like elephant leather, nothing compares to the handmade quality of Way Out West on this list. With unique toe shape styles and heel shapes more underslung than the average heels these days, these boots stand out. Plus, the stitch patterns are stitched by hand when all the other companies in this list have their stitch patterns done by machines. The handmade quality shows everywhere in this boot, so if you have a little extra budget for higher-end boots, you may want to consider Way Out West. 
So that does it for my rankings this year. If you want to see previous rankings, I have other videos with more brands going all the way back to 2019, and I have them linked up in the description. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these rankings in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Old boots got so